Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to show you two of my favorite free and fast product research methods. If you're a beginner yet and you haven't got your business off the ground, you haven't made your first few sales, 100% of your time and attention should be spent on product research. I would argue that there isn't one single product research method that is superior overall. The perfect product research strategy is to take a combination of different methods and combine them together. And that includes free and that includes paid as well regardless of what you pay for a product research software the biggest downfall that will always 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 come with those softwares is that everybody else paying for that same software will be seeing the same products as you which naturally invites more competition into the fold using methods that other people aren't using allows you to find products that other people aren't finding and therefore naturally with less competition and that's what i'm going to show you today two free and fast product research methods. Okay, so here we go. We're bringing me down smaller. So I used this method to actually find it was this product here on this website here, which has gone from naught to nearly 20,000 visits per month in less than three months. This is the advantage of finding products that nobody else has seen before because that is I call it the golden recipe that goes into a winning product. It's made up of lots and lots of different things. But one of the most important things to that recipe is a product that nobody has ever seen before, especially if you're going to be advertising on a social media platform. What you have to think about is that people don't watch the same film over and over again. They don't watch the same piece of content over and over again. They won't send a piece of content to their friends over and over again. They won't comment on the same piece of content over and over again. They won't listen to the same song over and over again. When somebody sees a product over and over again, they naturally switch off to it. The easiest way to get attention to something is it to be new and it to be original, which is what makes these product research methods so powerful. If you're wondering what this product is, essentially what it is, is it's a smart plant pot. And if we jump into the ads library for these guys, just quickly before I show you the actual products in mind or the actual research methods in mind. Imagine if your plant could say, hey, I'm visitors. thirsty. So more sunlight it looks like they're putting more and more money into this. They this must be seeing a return on it. And as you can see, it measures how much water you put into it. It measures how warm it is in the room and tells you whether it needs to be warmer or cooler. It tells you whether it's getting enough sunlight or not. So now just have a guess what you think somebody would pay for this. I went ahead and found it on AliExpress it's 44 pounds that includes well a shipping fee on top of that of two pounds so 45 give or take you might think somebody would pay 60 70 pounds even then that's still like pretty expensive in my mind for a little plant pot like this but if we head onto the website and we'll get rid of this information 190 dollars now that is australian dollars which i'm not 100 percent confident on the conversion but i think it puts it in and around sort of 140 us is in and around 100 pounds like that's a pretty high ticket expensive product, but because it's new, it's exciting and it's very, very unique. It does really, really well. The first research method that I want to share with you is the TikTok Creative Center. Head into ads.tiktok.com forward slash business forward slash creative center. Log in. It'll take you to a screen that looks something like this and we can click get started. Then we've got all these different filters which allow us to kind of go straight to what we're looking for because obviously TikTok isn't just full of dropshipping ads. I typically start with the United States because you're going to be picking from the biggest pool of products. And the industry, my favorites are the baby kids and maternity. And you've heard me say it time and time again, but it's typically females over the age of 50 that are the strongest buyers. So babies, kids and maternity, that sort of thing. Um, what else have we got? Uh, household products and pets. In fact, I'm going to get rid of household products because that could be anything. Um, yeah, pets, baby, kids, and maternity. Objective-wise, there's a couple of in here. So we want conversions and we want product sales. We're gonna go for the last seven days as well because then we're gonna filter down just to the most current ones that are working right now. Ad language can be anything. Always non-spark ads, always top one to 20%. And then I'm gonna filter by CTR. So these will be the ads with the highest click-through rate, i.e the most effective ads, ads that are resonated most with its audience. So this is products here looking at top 3% and the budget is classified as high too. So this is the amount of money spent on running an ad video. So this shows that this particular company is putting a good chunk of money into this creative. The reason why this has performed so well is for a number of reasons. Let me make this a bit bigger so you can see it a bit more clearly. It takes a proven past six figure products that is sold in every single pet shop around the world and that is a backseat car cover. Backseat car cover is really popular at the moment in the Western world. 
in the US, in UK, really big markets, because it's wet and cold outside. So when you take your dog for a walk, your dog gets covered in mud, gets covered in water, gets covered in rain. And the last thing you want is your dog jumping into your car seats, jumping onto your car seats and making them muddy. This is where I do think these guys are potentially missing a trick. I think a better hook for this product, instead of what they use, we'll just let it come around again. Instead of using this, this before, because it's not 100% clear what it is, what would be a better hook is to get a massive dog, really long haired dog, get it caked in mud, and then get somebody to sacrifice their back seats for a good hook, for a good piece of content. Get a dog, really wet, sopping with mud, jumping onto the back seats so the viewer can see the pain point that they're solving and then present this product and then have this after clip. The after clip is really, really good. So after it shows the dog jumping in, it shows the solid base so you no longer have that pain point of your dog falling between the seats. What also makes this product unique and really, really good too, is you can see the storage compartments and the mesh netting so the dog can see through, so your dog isn't tempted to jump up, jump up onto the sides of it, which obviously could be a potential safety issue. And of course, storage is always nice because it's a place to keep your lead, keep bags, keep treats, whatever it may be. So all in all, an awesome, awesome product, really, really good creative and a really, really effective creative too. And this is backed up in the data and the results that it's gotten. We can keep scrolling down to see what else we can find. Obviously, they're not all gonna be dropshipping related because there are other business models out there and inside the e-commerce space. So naturally, we're just gonna look for something that looks pretty dropshipping related, a product that's small and cheap enough to look like a dropshipping one. I'm very confident they're saying this would be a dropshipping one too. I've seen both of these products before. We can have a look at the analytics in a second, so it's high budget which is the amount spent on running the Adam the video, which shows that the company is investing good money, which shows that they must be seeing a return. 8,000 likes and top 6% too. Like, there's no doubt about it. This product has been doing very well for these guys on this platform. What's well, really, really powerful too with the TikTok Creative Center, and to be honest, if you ask me, I think it's a little bit naughty of them, but we can use it to our advantage, is it gives you a script analysis. So what we can actually do is we can take the script and copy it. We can put it, head over into ChatGPT and say this, is my ad script and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back and just check the the analytics and the drop off 100 percent top 71 percent of the industry average and i'm going to say that the drop off is around the sort of three second mark the drop off in ctr is at the three second mark can you rewrite this to improve average watch time? And I'll paste the script and we'll see what this comes up with. Whilst that's doing that, I'm just gonna take you back to the results and just show you how quickly and easily it is just to find, I think we've found two already pretty decent products that we'd want to shortlist and do a bit more investigation into. And what I'd like to do with any products I find is I have this proven products research checklist that I give away for free inside my free community that also comes alongside with my free course. And let me just bring it up so I can show you. So it comes along with a free course. The free course also includes a free one-to-one -one call with myself, all 100% free, completely no catch. If you're interested, check out the top link in the description below. So if you want to get a copy of this, this is basically how it works. You would insert the image of the product, a description, and the AliExpress link. And on the left-hand side here, you've got all the different pieces of criteria that a product would need to match. So when you found a product, this is going through the different products actually. When you found a product that looks to be doing really well, has great engagements, then you can put it into your proven products research checklist. You can go through all these different points. So for example, is the ideal customer 50 plus and female? Yes, it is, it then goes green. If it's not, it would go red. And what it soon allows you to do is compare products against each other and highlight the good and bad points and highlight the superior ones versus the weaker ones. If we come back into ChatGPT and let's see what they've wrote for us. So once see how I level up my dog's meals, let's go. First, I'm cracking a soft boil egg, so on and so forth. And it also points out the key changes too. So not only can we take what is a proven kind of roadmap for an ad creative for a product, we can then rewrite it and improve it with the help of AI all within the space of 
30 seconds that talk. So really, really powerful. If you're looking to get started in dropshipping, this is the route to go because here you have a proven product on your hands, a proven script that you can then use AI to rewrite for you. And then you just fill in with similar content as well. So that's product research strategy number one. Product research strategy number two is the Facebook ads library. Now, unfortunately with the ad library, you can't be as specific with TikTok, but still a really powerful method. So if you head over to the Facebook ad library, also 100% free, I can make myself a bit bigger here. And then what we wanna do is we're gonna to stick to the United States again as well, just because that's where most advertisers go. What's really important about that as well is if we find something that's working really well in the US and we find that nobody's selling it in a different country, then it comes back to that point that I mentioned originally being the first seller of something, which is really, really powerful. That should be your ultimate goal when it comes to selecting a product is it's a product that has proven potential, but you're going to take it to a market and advertise in a country or a place where nobody has seen it before. So we'll go for all ads. We're going to search for 50% off and we'll make myself a little bit smaller here. And then when this populates, we're going to go to filters because as you can imagine, it's, we're going to get all sorts of rubbish. So we're going to go to filters. All languages is fine. All advertisers is fine. All platforms is fine as well. Media type, I'm going to go for videos because dropshipping ads are typically videos. We want active ads as well. We don't really want anything that's inactive because we're looking for the products that are proven. Products that are not active are not proven. What I've done there is I've just copied and pasted today's date into the from date. And then what I'm going to do is bring this back to November. So we're looking for ads within the last month and we'll see what we can find, what we can come up with here. Okay, so straight away I can see what looks like a couple of dropshipping products, namely this. Discover the contour pillow designed to enhance your comfort. Then what we can do is we can click on Shine Horizon and we can, it won't let me do that but we'll go to the page because I don't want to lose this and we'll keep scrolling and see if we can find anything else. Okay, so I didn't have to go far. On the third line, look, I found this company called That's Hair, selling hair extensions. What we can do is we can hover over and go to view ads. Over 4,000 likes, that shine, horizon, only zero likes. So probably not a lot to learn from these guys. They're obviously not very established and won't be making much money. These guys are running 57 different ads, look, and it all looks like it's for hair extensions too. So we could head over to AliExpress now and check what's available on the hair extension front. And again, we have our proven concept here. These guys would not be running this amount of ads if it wasn't returning them a decent investment. If we come down just a couple more lines too, in fact, I'll skip through these. Then we found this dog toy here. Look, you see, I've watched the first four seconds. We'll replace this for free if your dog can destroy it. The Indestructibear is made with triple layered fabric, making it 100% shoe proof and has three squeaks. Then we've, we're getting a fairly decent hit rate when it comes to finding these toys. And this one is an indestructible. Let me make it a bit bigger for you guys. It's keeping your dog this one is an indestructible chew toy. To it looks to be doing really, really well. So again, what we can do is we can hover over, we can view ads. These guys are running 440 results at the moment. And a lot of them, if they rip it, we replace it. So it looks to be that same proven concept they're going for. So that's the concept, that's the power of this strategy. And that's what you're looking to do. So in fact, I went a bit early on that one then. This is a proven concept. Every single thing is about heavy chewers, indestructible toys, which shows there's a big market for it. Too many people try and go too big and too broad in the beginning, and they're too generic with the products that they're trying to sell. Whereas if you can pick a product that has a super specific target audience, your creative, your marketing message is much more likely to land. It's much more likely to raise somebody's curiosity because it's much more specific to them. So instead of trying to sell a dog toy to every single dog owner, they're selling indestructible dog toys for dogs that are heavy chewers, that are strong chewers. And that's a much more specific market. And that's why they've been able to be so much more successful because their product is more relatable. And on social media, that's everything. Think about how many pieces of content you'll see on a daily basis. It's only the ones that you truly relate to that you actually remember or will engage with. Before you go, don't forget to get your 100% free access to my training course in the link below. You can also, through that same link, book in a free, 100% free, completely no catch, one-to-one -one onboarding and roadmap call with myself. Thanks.